Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. I'm excited that you guys are here. Today we're gonna do monthly favorites. It is April favorites. I can't believe it's the end of April already, but I have a few things I want to chit chat with you about today and just share things that I've been really enjoying throughout the month of April and probably things that I've just loved in general. So if you wanna see what my monthly favorites are, keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, let's do it. I have a few skincare favorites that I'm excited to share with y'all today. I have this right here. This is a micellar water. This is by, I'm going to say by BR because I am not going to pronounce it correctly. But I always pronounce it Biologie Christique, but I don't think that's correct. So we're gonna refer to this as BR. <laughs> but this is the micellar water. I actually asked my husband for products from Tosca European Spa. They're based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. They sell BR. And I really wanted to try more from the brand. That's what I got for my birthday. I've been using it and I really, really like it. Now it's just a micellar water, y'all. And I'm I was talking to a few few people and I'm like, why do I love it so much? And I love it so much because it doesn't dry me out. It cleans my face. It's just so refreshing. It leaves it feeling hydrated and not stripped. It's really important to me because I have a drier skin type. I would say I'm definitely on the dehydrated side, dry side. I, I don't tend to get very oily at all. So for me, this is really good. Another skincare product that I've been absolutely adoring is this peptide moisturizer. This is by The Inky List. I love a lot of products from The Inky List. I love this peptide moisturizer and I love this polyglutamic acid. Now these were gifted, but I just adore this brand. I've actually purchased this a few times now. It's actually kind of low. I can feel it. It's, but this peptide moisturizer moisturizer is new to me. I like this. It's airtight. It's sealed. It's really, really hydrating. I do have to go in sometimes with something a little heavier in the evening, but this for daytime moisturizer is so, so nice. I have the hardest time finding a really good sunscreen. I don't know if y'all know, but I run and when I run, of course I sweat. And then the worst the worst is having a sunscreen that gets into your eyes, sweat stripping down your face, and then the sunscreen's getting in your eyes. Oh, it's just the worst. So I've been really enjoying this Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. This is an amazing sunscreen. It was actually recommended by my dermatologist, uh, the brand itself, and I've really, really enjoyed it. I like the packaging. I like that it's in an actual kind of pump here. It's clear, no white cast for me. It doesn't run when I run. <laughs> oh boy, it doesn't run when I run. I just think a very nice face sunscreen. I can wear under makeup and put makeup over it. It doesn't peel good. I actually have this one on my Amazon storefront, which I'll link below for you. But um, yeah, I really like this one a lot. Okay, that's all for skincare. We're going to go ahead and get into makeup. Okay, we're going to start with brushes. Now, I don't really talk about brushes a lot because I have some staples that I really, really enjoy using and that's kind of what I've always used. For example, this Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush. I think I've had this thing for like, I mean, a long time, probably five or six years, honestly, maybe more. But I really enjoyed this Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush. I tend to use it with a lot of cream product. I'll use it for my foundation. I'll use it for a cream bronzer, a cream highlight, a cream blush. It's such a great brush that I can use for a lot of different things. And I just really adore this brush. It washes superbly. Superbly? It washes very well. So I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a brush for foundation, for cream products, etc. Now this brush is quite new to me, but oh my goodness, y'all. This first application, I noticed a difference in the application of my eyeshadow. This is a Sonia G Blender Pro brush. It's dreamy. It is not cheap. It's just the perfect, how do I describe this brush? It really has the perfect density to really blend out a crease. I adore it. It allows me to give a lot of pressure, a little bit of pressure, give different effects. I feel like with my shadows, it they perform better, honestly. 
with this brush. I'm really, really liking this brush. I would love to try more from her brand. I think that her brushes are highly rated and I can understand why. The other brush that I want to speak to you about is from Reefer. This is a 02 brush and this is for like packing on different product on the lid. I really like this. You can wet your product. You can, you can get in, in finer places around the eye. I have really enjoyed this brush as well. Speaking of eyes, this Natasha Denona palette, this is the mini retro palette. This is absolutely stunning. I love the shades of this. I have it on my eyes today. It's just so beautiful. You can really get a lot of great, great looks from just a 5 p.m. palette. I like that it's a bit on the neutral side. Honestly, I love a pop of color, but what I'm going to wear every day is a good neutral. And this kind of takes a, a small spin on a neutral type palette. Neutral while still giving some of those pretty subtle hints of color. I can't leave my mascara out. Yeah, <laughs> This is my favorite mascara ever. It is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. Mine is in color 70. Now this is the blue one. I thought it'd be fun to try kind of a, a navy color. I love the black as well. Both are absolutely stunning. They give such great, great length and volume to the eye, eyelashes. I have it on today. It's so, so wonderful and it doesn't flake. It gives volume. It lengthens. It's just so good and it lasts. Another one for eyes that I think every person should have is an eyelash curler. I'm telling you, an eyelash curler is amazing to curled lashes. It's the secret sauce. It's the trick, y'all. <laughs> it really is. This is the Shishido one, but and this one's really good. I just really enjoy it. I like the metal ones. Another trick too, if you really want very curled lashes before you put on your mascara, is to heat the actual eyelash curler with a hair dryer. It warms up the metal and it almost acts like a curling wand for your eyelashes and it's phenomenal. So try that. Let me know if you do because it works. I have two bronzers here that I absolutely love. This one in particular is a tad bit dirty. <laughs> this one in particular is the shade Illuminate in Intensity 1. Y'all, this is absolutely stunning. The tone, the formula, I use my Bobbi Brown brush even for this. It's so, so good. It gives such a beautiful glow, glistening glow to the skin. It's natural. It's not too much. This shade looks super dark for my complexion, but it really isn't. It blends out like a dream. And this particular, oh, is so glossy, so beautiful. Now for powder bronzer, if I am wearing powder. I did put on powder today uh, for blush and bronzer and, and highlight, but this bronzer, y'all, this is called the Le Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in Sunset. Now, there's two shades. There's a lighter shade and darker shade. This is the darker shade, and this is a beautiful bronzer for me. I just bronze up all over my face. It's by Chanel. The packaging is stunning. The product itself is beautiful inside. Oh my goodness, y'all. The highlight I have on my cheeks today is by MAC. This is the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Y'all, this is amazing. I love it. It's beautiful. You can wear it as a subtle glow. Don't put a lot on or you can put it on really, really heavy and you will be beaming. <laughs> I love the versatility of certain products. I think that really makes a product as well. So this particular product really gets an A plus for me for being versatile. Yes. Last but not least, I have two lip products that I want to share with you today. This is a Revlon lip product. I'm loving these new Revlon Super Lustrous Shine products. This is what I have on my lips today. It is absolutely stunning. The formula is so beautiful. I really have enjoyed these lipsticks by Revlon. I have a full video sharing all the all the shades that I did receive. I will link that below so if you're looking for a different shade or anything like that. The formula is fantastic. Now, this shade is Rum Raisin. 
I really, really like this shade. It's just a great neutral shade, but there's some fun, fun shade that Revlon has come out with. This is an art stick by Bobbi Brown. Y'all know I love these art sticks. I think they are phenomenal. Great formula. This is in Brown Berry. Yes, Brown Berry. It's almost... <laughs> It's very similar in shade, right? This one's a little bit more blue and undertone, but just amazing quality. I think that Bobbi Brown in general has phenomenal lipsticks if you're looking for a good solid lipstick. That's a great brand to go to if you're looking for something for every day. But this particular product is so versatile as well. I'm see a trend here y'all because you can use it as a lip liner as well as just filling in the lip and going it lasts a pretty good while and it's just a, it's a good formula and it's nice on the lips it's good all right y'all that rounds up my april favorites i hope that you enjoyed this video if you loved it don't forget to like it below and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me i appreciate y'all watching so so much and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.